This is how I would learn video editing if I had to start over. For context, I've got over 250 million views to my name. I work with high level YouTubers and I earn tens of thousands of dollars from my videos. Before I started video editing, when I was around 14 to 17, I worked in the local bike shop simply because I loved mountain biking. And that's a mentality that I took and applied to video editing. I've always found opportunities to get paid doing what I love. And as soon as it stops serving me, I just pivot to a new thing. It's your life. Sure, you can look through the highest paid niches on YouTube and choose a specific niche to edit in based on that because as a general rule they'd have more money to pay you for your work but you're always going to be better off working in a niche that you're passionate about. So the first thing I would do would be to have a think about the type of YouTubers I'd like to work with whether I'd like to do long form video editing or short form video editing and also what I can offer them. Am I a capable thumbnail designer? Can I run a channel? Or is my best skill set just video editing? Next up, we've got something that people often class as this super important thing, but it really doesn't matter that much. Now, whilst working at that bike shop, I opened an editing software for the first time. I used iMovie to actually make an edit of my mountain biking And after spending hours putting together what, to be fair, wasn't a bad video, I realised how incredibly difficult it was to edit a video on an iPad on some very basic software. So software is the next thing I'd look into, but don't worry about it too much. My general rule is just to pick one of the top three softwares. I'd personally recommend Premiere Pro as Adobe's creative tools dominate the whole creative industry. And back when I started, I found it super easy to learn in the first few days of opening it. Next up, we've got something that genuinely makes learning anything you want incredibly easy. Shortly after retiring from the bike shop, when I first actually started video editing, I was trying to create YouTube videos around my passions. So when I first opened Premiere Pro, it looked super intimidating and complex. But because I was learning video editing with a specific project in mind, it was only a matter of weeks until I was pretty much fluent in the software. So if I had to go back and relearn everything, I double down on this and learn the ins and outs of Premiere Pro by working on a specific project. It could be something you filmed yourself or something you've downloaded from somewhere. Whatever it is, it's so much easier to learn video editing if it's just one part of a bigger project. Now, another bonus of doing this project-oriented learning is by the end of the project, you blink and you've learned tons of new skills. But there's more to this than you might think. Now, just before starting my video editing, I actually tried my hand with marketing and ended up generating a few hundred thousand dollars for local businesses during lockdown but most importantly I developed skills that would go on to pay me tens of thousands in years to come. I built what I later found out to be a T-shaped skill stack where you go deep on one topic for example video editing and then you have a baseline of knowledge on lots of other topics that complement the skill of video editing. When I was doing marketing I learned not only the marketing side of things, but also Canva and Photoshop for graphic design, how to use Squarespace to build a website, how to work well with clients and other key skills that I could add to my skill stack to make me more capable. Because of this, I'm now able to have an idea in the morning and have it executed by the evening. Within my free community of editors, I often speak to video editors and content creators who, to put it bluntly, are trying to reinvent the wheel with their videos. And whilst this is perfect for creativity and originality, it might not be the best way forwards. One of the reasons I started video editing was watching a creator called James Janney, who creates finance documentaries in a really creative and high effort editing style. I bought his Patreon to see exactly how he edited his videos, and I set my sights on being able to edit like him. I didn't realize it at the time, but this is exactly what you should be doing when you're starting out with anything. If you've just started video editing or you're a few months into video editing, in simple terms, you maybe aren't qualified enough to try and reinvent the wheel. So the best thing you can do is see what big creators are doing with their videos and their editing and try to replicate it. This could even be your project that you work on whilst learning video editing, just like we spoke about earlier. To achieve the end goal of replicating their edit you will have to push and develop your editing skills and that's a big part of learning quickly now with all this in mind you're starting to transform into a capable video editor and by being capable it means that you're valuable to certain groups of people and here's exactly how to turn that value into cash in your bank when I first started video editing I was pretty much doing it because I enjoyed doing it it was never my intention to make loads of money from it 
I just kind of stumbled into opportunities through hard work. But I can't stress enough the importance of pricing your work the right way. You'll need to ask yourself a few questions to work out your pricing. Let's say you found a YouTuber client and you're super confused wondering how much to charge. Well, firstly, what value can you bring to the table? Are you confident you can make a great video in their style? And have you had experience with doing this type of work before? What are they going to get out of it? If you make a good video, could they make a ton of money or are they paying you out of their own pocket? Evaluate all of these things and come up with a sensible per video or per month price but how exactly do we do this? Ultimately, you can increase your pricing by becoming a capable and valuable video editor. But there are certain traps I fell into and you could too on your journey that will simply prevent you from making big money from your editing. I ran into so many issues on my journey to becoming a successful video editor that I could have avoided. I can't keep exchanging this much of my mental energy of my time in exchange for a paycheck. And that's exactly why I created my program, Editors Academy, because there's another side to video editing where it doesn't have to be hard work. In fact, the entire video you've watched so far is just an outline of a tiny portion of what you'll learn within Editors Academy. You'll even get access to a five-step formula to level up your video editing, one that allowed me to find dream clients on demand and meet and work alongside my idols, make tens of thousands of dollars from my editing, from my bedroom, and ultimately wake up and do what I love every single day. If you want to go from beginner to pro video editor in just 14 days, feel free to join Editors Academy. It's the first link in the description. Now we've nearly got the plan nailed, but you might be falling into this next trap as we speak. So it's essential you take the following information on board. Within video editing, there's a big difference between the people who make it work, those who are able to find great opportunities and use video editing as a tool to make money, and the editors on the other side of things who are ultimately stuck editing boring videos for hours and hours and hours and hardly making any money. I learned early on that a lot of it comes down to your mindset and your choices. As a video editor, it's incredibly important to adopt a mindset of continual learning and progression. You can't beat a guy that just doesn't quit, has a positive attitude to taking on challenges and getting better. And that's what will make learning and earning from video editing either easy for you or more tricky. Which brings me on to my next point, timings. It shouldn't take you more than a few months to get to a capable level with video editing. If you're naturally a creative and ideas driven person, it does help because ultimately one of your goals should be to have an idea for a section in a video or see a concept and be able to replicate that within your editing software, bringing your ideas to life. However, within Editors Academy, I've seen a lot of students do this a ton faster. For example, with Drove here, who went from joining Editors Academy to implementing the strategies he learned and just two days later, speaking with a YouTuber with a million subscribers about working together. Ultimately, it depends on who you surround yourself with and what information and strategies you have access to. Thank you for watching.